Hi everyone, Vicky from Biomont here and I'm just hopping on to answer another one of the commonly asked questions I get and this time we're talking about bleeding wounds. Sometimes I will get people phoning me concerned that a patient's wound appears to be bleeding and there could be a few different reasons as to why that person is seeing what they're seeing. The first thing to be aware of is that with the exudate that comes with maggot therapy you are going to get a sort of dark red brown colour and if you haven't seen it before it can be easy to mistake it for blood but often when you take the dressings down if you take the bag away for a moment you will see that the wound bed is healthy there's no sign of bleeding and actually it was just that exudate that's being created by the maggots whilst they're debriding the wound having said that a little bit of bleeding is normal especially as the maggots are starting to get to the base of the wound where the healthy tissue is and also they're stimulating angiogenesis they're stimulating the creation of those new blood vessels you can get a little bit of light bleeding but this again is totally normal and absolutely nothing to worry about but if you're taking off the dressings and you're taking off the bio bag and you're seeing active bleeding that's when you might want to consider discontinuing the therapy if it is a copious amount so definitely discontinue it if it's borderline then you might want to talk to a senior or, or the rest of your team but generally we would advise removing the maggot therapy and putting something on that is going to help prevent the bleeding apply some pressure and convert to something a little bit more gentle. If you've got a patient who is on something like warfarin then you might be wondering if it's worth the risk in the first place. The main questions to ask yourself is has their wound bled before? Do you think there is a blood vessel involved and are there clotting factors within therapeutic range? If their wound hasn't bled before, if you are fairly certain that there isn't a blood vessel involved and if their clotting factors are within therapeutic range, then it is perfectly safe to start maggot therapy and it shouldn't be different to treating any other patient. If any one of these factors are a concern, if you've had a wound that has bled before, if you aren't sure if there's a major blood vessel involved or if the clotting factors are out of therapeutic range, then again, I would discuss it with the team. I would talk about it with the patient and the other clinicians involved and it would be worth considering the risks and the benefits to that patient or potentially if it's their clotting factors you could wait until they're in therapeutic range.